Hey everybody, it's Stephanie from thirdgradethoughts.com and I wanted to walk you through QR critters. These are going to be coming out um, for each of the holidays and the reason that I wanted to do them for holidays is because we usually are looking for really easy, simple things to throw in to help celebrate um, but that also practice some really important skills. So I have St. Patrick's now. We'll be doing Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that good stuff. Um, and they're all going to have a very similar setup. The numbers, of course, will be different, but the skills will be the same. And um, I just wanted to walk you through the St. Patrick's Day so you have a general idea of, of what it looks like in your class. So if you are a fan of my Monster Math cards, these are very similar. The only thing that's really different is that each of these cards um, come in like a, a group, right? So there's four of these little guys, and then there's a different number on each of the task cards. And so you're just going to hang these around the room. I like to put them, you know, really visible places on the wall, whiteboard, um, you know, door frame, on tables, anything like that. And then the kids will be getting their recording sheets. There's two of these because there's six monsters all together. And then each of them have four cards, so 24 task cards all together. And so they can spread around the room, and usually, you know, there's no more than one or maybe two kiddo, kiddos at each of the cards. When they get to the card, we'll just do the one, they're just going to copy down what the problem is, and then they're going to solve. And this is the two and three digit addition version, and so there's the two digit addition, they write it down, great. You'll notice that some of these cards have the stacking already on them, and then two of the cards have the horizontal. And so that's just nice practice for them. Um, however you're teaching it, they can either rewrite it, they can write it down exactly as they see it. It really is up to you and, and how you are teaching addition in your class, because I know different programs have different ways of, of um, teaching it. When they get to the end and they've done all four, they have found all four cards and all four sums, then what they're going to do, right, after they've found all these guys around the room, is they are going to um, fill in this star box. And the star box, it says up here, it sounds like Starbucks, <laughs> in the star box, <laughs> they are going to add the answers from cards one through four. So they're going to do an addition problem that's going to be 99 plus the sum of number two, sum of number three, sum of number four, and then that's going to get them their star answer. And so as they do that, they can just, there's a, a bigger box here because there's four different um, add-ins. Same thing, you can just have them stack them all four or you can do two and two, whatever strategy you have for multiple add-ins. Um, I know that was always a really tricky thing for my third graders, so hopefully this will get them some extra practice. And even on the subtraction um, QR critters, they still need to add at the end. So it's, the subtraction is really an addition, subtraction, um, review. So they subtract across here in all the different cards, um, but then at the end they will still add um, to find the star. So that's just a, a little note. All right, after they have filled in their star, and you could do this independently, or um, you know they could do this later, like on the second day, the first day can be getting up and moving, the second day can be figuring out their star boxes, completely up to you. Then in each of the packets there are just one star card for the um, the little clip art monster, right? And so you can print out multiple ones of these if you want, you know, one of each of these at the tables, that's fine, or if you just want one around the room. You'll need to get a QR reader, and these are available on iPads, your iPhone, um, Kindles, they're pretty much available on any type of tablet, whatever you may have in your classroom. And there's lots of different apps, and so I'm not an expert on apps, you may just want to download a few. They're all free, or I mean, there's, there's plenty that are free, you don't need to pay for them. Um, and then you can just sort of see which one you like. I have one that's called QR Reader, and they're all kind of that same name. and. Um, this one, I'm just going to use my phone here, but this one is has a little bit of an ad. All you do is you just hold it. It automatically scans, and you can see down here on the bottom, there's a little ad that pops up, but it's nothing that's that bad to me, so, um, so I like it. And then here you'll see that it is going to show you the entire edition problem, and it's going to show it left to right so they can actually check. Like, okay, good, 99 for this one, 137 was the sum for this, all the way across. And then they can check to make sure that their answer matches the answer in their star um, box. And then and when they're done, they can just hit the back button, and then it goes back to the scanning. So that is QR Critters, and I hope that was a nice way to um, kind of walk you through it so you understand what it's all about. These are available, like I said, in different um, holidays. They're not up in my store yet, but each holiday has a different set of numbers. So the, the addition problems and subtraction problems will be different each month, or excuse me, each holiday. And um, 
There's also three versions and a bundled set. So there is two and three digit edition, like this one right here. There is three and four digit edition, which is great for third and fourth grade. And then there's also um, two digit subtraction, two and three digit subtraction, excuse me. So hundreds minus tens, tens minus tens, um, hundreds minus hundreds. And then remember at the end of that is where they add it all up. So it's sort of a subtraction edition review. And then what I've done is I've bundled them all together. So you kind of have four choices depending on your math needs and what you guys are studying and what your kids need extra practice with, all of that good stuff. So like I said, I hope this was helpful and kind of gave you some ideas for how you can incorporate um, not only some addition and subtraction review, but also the QR codes in your class, which is always a fun thing. If you guys have any questions, just let me know on my blog, thirdgradethoughts.com, and thank you so much.